Hey there, groovy cats and chicks. How the hell are you? It's me, the world's most dangerous filmmaker, Rock Savage. And I'm here to explain something. Some people have sent me some emails and said, Rock, Savage, how can you possibly claim to be, for the Savage Film Group, to be the, the number one underground film studio in the world? Well, I thought about that here in the Savage Film Group Man Cave. And I said, well, how can I explain it with in, in, in 15 minutes or less? Well, it's pretty tough to explain in 15 minutes or less because there's so much to explain. But I'll do my very best. Well, first of all, <clears throat> we've outlasted a lot of other underground filmmakers. Some of them are no longer underground filmmakers. They, they went to the mainstream. We're still underground. John Waters is no longer underground. That's it for him. He's no longer underground. He's doing very well in the mainstream. He's not underground. He doesn't count anymore. Sorry. That's just how it is. A few other filmmakers went on to other things. They're not underground anymore. And some faded away completely and were never heard of again. But we kept on going. We're continuing to do projects. Um, we don't do scripted films anymore because um, <clears throat> a lot of our members have had family issues and, and you know, life-changing issues. And we just decided, you know, that we really love our, our, our stock company of actors and actresses. And, um, you know, we've, we've got a, a large catalog of films that we need to promote anyway. And also, we have continued, we still haven't finished making other bizarre films. We are, we are still moving on. We're working on a film right now with um, a very strange places that you can visit. There, certainly, as the Savage Film Group, uh, as you know us, we, we don't do things a conventional way. These are very unconventional places and roadside attractions that I'm sure a lot of you who have followed us or follow underground films or B movies in general are going to love, but we're, and we'll be working on that this summer too. We're going to hit the road again for some more, uh, footage to put in this great film. <clears throat> also being the number one underground filmmakers in the world means we've been, our films have been watched all over the world. A and even before the internet became super big, People were watching our films all over the world. We, we've, been, we've been seen everywhere now, thanks to Count Gore Duvall. People have seen us in the old Soviet bloc countries, in a country that used to be, um, it escapes on my now, it's a country that used to be Yugoslavia. Uh, people have seen our films thanks to Count Gore, thanks to the internet. You know, he hosted some of our short films. You know, all I can say is may the gods bless Count Gore Duvall, because he really, really has excellent taste in movies and excellent taste in showing our movies. What can I say? Also, but before that, you may say, but Rock, you started making film in 1980s. How did hell did you get the word out? Well, before the internet, uh, we had these things called fanzines. Well, we, we've reduced ours to a newsletter, but this is what our old fanzine used to look like. We're up to uh, like 40 issues now or something. We just publish it as a, as a newsletter now for our fans. But we used to cover other stuff in this too. We you know, used to do reviews of weird books and other stuff, but we don't do that anymore because, you know, it's only one page. We're not going to devote a whole, uh, you can see we had a very, very groovy op art background. And, you know, we're not doing that no more. We're, we, uh, we, we, we still do the newsletter. We don't bother with the fan scene because we got a web page, we got Facebook, we got YouTube. It's replaced the fan scenes, which in a way is a shame. I really enjoyed producing the fanzine but you move on technology's here you know move on and um also we were invite we were covered by a lot of national magazines we'll start here with this one here this is psychotronic it's now i think it's online now i'm not sure it's not as good as it used to be but they covered mummy of gorgor here in the same issue where they interviewed the great fred williamson who you may have been no, known, he, he did a lot of the great black action films of the 70s and, and even in the 80s, ter ter terrific. And I met him in person, terrific guy. Um, yeah, they interviewed him here, and I'm very proud that we were 
Mamia Gorgor was interviewed here and received, received a pretty positive review. So I'm real proud of that. And this is a national magazine. You could get it at the time when Borders was around. You could get it at Borders, at Tower Records, at your, um, you know, very quirky newsstands and e even um, some of your finer bookstores. I think Barnes & Noble has actually carried it. Also, this was available in a lot of quirky newsstands and your finer bookstores like Tower Records and Borders. I was interviewed in here in Carbon 14, Carbon 14 magazine. Here I was interviewed right right here, as a matter of fact, right there. There's my interview. There's my picture right there. Yep. Interviewed in national magazines. A lot of underground filmmakers didn't get interviews in national magazines. I did. Film festivals. This one's local in Maryland. This is from Frederick, Maryland. They showed the entire anthology of Hard Boiled Heroes. Very good. Micro Cinema Fest. It's from Baltimore, Maryland. We were in this one too. We, we they showed uh, Beast of Retro City. Right there. And word of mouth got out. Word of mouth got out, and so we were shown in Australia. And they had a big Super 8 movie film festival, and we got shown there. Uh, there was a biography on me, and, um, and on top of that, they did, they showed Beast of Retro City there. Yeah, and they did print a little biography of me, which was okay, you know. It was, they had to squeeze it in. Oh, but it doesn't stop there. I also wrote articles for, I you know, this is back in the days where I got a lot of respect, more respect than Rodney Dangerfield. Um, I wrote articles. Now here, one of our movies gets reviewed in this, this again, a, a publication that appeared when, when, when people actually read print media. Um, I actually wrote an article for Next Tuesday publication, which is a great publication. I really love this a lot. There it is. Wrote a great article, Confessions of a Dangerous Filmmaker, you know, Excellent. And um, also wrote, oh, I didn't write this. Uh, somebody did a review, an excellent review of Violence is My Business. So there you go. So we were everywhere. <laughs> We've been everywhere. Used to, I used to be a guest at conventions all the time. But here's something I'm very, very proud of. This is a book that's available internationally. It's called Dracula in the Visual Arts. And they, it's an encyclopedia of, of um, all of Dracula's appearances, and they got they talk about Dead to the Last Drop. Our vampire anthology is listed in here, and with all credits and plot synopsis. And I'm like, wow, this, this is great. This caught me by surprise. I didn't even somebody told me about this. I didn't even know that this that they had done this. That I was in this book. So of course I had to get a copy for myself. So. <clears throat> And actually, if you like Dracula, that book's got almost every movie appearance of Dracula in recent times. I'm sure there'll be more now. Also, we've been acknowledged by the great David Friedman, who was Herschel's co-producer and partner on Blood Feast, 2000 Maniacs, Color Me Blood Red, also producer of The Erotic Adventures of Zorro and Elsa, She-Wolf of the SS. Dave Friedman really enjoyed Mummy of Gorgor and Hard Boiled Heroes. He's, you know, he wrote me this wonderful letter. I used to correspond all the time with him before he passed away. Used to talk to him in the email, but then his eyesight got bad, so he canceled his email account, and then we talked on the phone. He could, fortunately, his eyesight wasn't that bad. He could still watch movies. He was still watching movies and all, but, you know, um, I remember, I think it must have been when I talked to him in person at one of the conventions. He was at the Something Weird table. And he must have saw that something in my voice, must have noticed the, um, in my voice, I felt real bad for him. And he said, Rock, I'm over 80 years old. I'm happy when I wake up in the morning. Dave, tough guy, never lost his sense of humor and great guy. And he will be missed as will be Herschel Gordon Lewis, which we will be doing a tribute to Herschel later on. Mummies and murderers. The Long Island Ear. They did a review of Mummy of Gorgor, the guy who did this this thing. He did B movies, and we, we we're sort of in between there. We're underground slash B movies. We we count as that too. Our production values did go up. We're still though underground. 
But uh, also lots of praise for Mummy Gorgor in the Long Island year. Like I said, everywhere. Around the world, we've sold movies in England, Canada, Spain. And um, by the way, appeared in the city, Washington City paper twice. So, oh, actually more than twice. Uh, twice with my picture, uh, several times when we appeared in um, DC space showing our films. So, as you can see, we've been around. And as you can see, um, we definitely are the number one underground film studio in the world. And that's why I say that, you know, because it's true. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie to you and make that crap up. We're number one. And um, this is why you should check us out and check out our movies and see what all the, what all the hoo-ha is about. You know, check us out at www.savagefilmgroup.com. Click the link below. Check out our our fantastic uh, movies. And also, I'm going to add another link below. Check out the trailer that shows the past 10 years of our, our quick preview of the last 10 years and movies from the Savage Film Group. All of our stuff is available online for you to purchase. And a, uh, a quick note here, um, I was quite surprised. Uh, we, we still, you know, we still offer our movies in VHS for those of you who want it. Um, please keep in mind, we, d we don't have the extras on there because it's VHS. You know, you can't fit all the extras on there. And it's going to cost you more because it costs us more to get the blank tape. So it's like, it costs you more than the DVD does. And also, you know, because shipping is more because they're heavy. But some people love them. So we're going to keep, keep offering them. Two years ago, I was going to stop offering VHS. And just as I was getting ready to stop it, Somebody ordered six VHS tapes from me, and, and I said, okay, well, can't stop now. So there you go. But really, I'd recommend getting the DVDs. They are less expensive and everything. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I, I will see you on the next video, and I'll see you at the movies if you order some of our movies. Remember, click at the link down below www.savagefilmgroup.com. Look at the other link. If you haven't seen the trailers for our movies, the Savage Film Group trailers, check that out too. It's great. You know, you, you, you'll, you'll love it. Um, the only thing else I got to say about this is also that we really, I see we're getting a lot of, we're getting some, some great views. I know everybody's viewing the trailer. The trailer's real popular. But don't forget to like and subscribe. And that way, you know, that'll motivate us to keep on going because we don't want to do what some of the other underground filmmakers did and just stop. We want to keep on going. We're, like I said, we're producing, um, we're producing a new Mondo film with uh, lots of weird places you can visit on your vacation. We're still doing our audio, our audio series, Savage uh, Radio Theater. We're doing that. You can check that out on our website. Click on audio. Um, you know, for our action horror films, click on action horror, click on double features. So you got two feature movies there for the price of one and lots of extras. Cause, um, those, a lot of our movies come with a second DVD loaded with extras. So check it out. You're not going to regret it. Anyway, I will see you on the next video. And like I said, if you purchase one of our movies, I'll see you at the movies. Stay groovy.